on this one vote by this one man, the destiny and the values of what we now call Western civilization hung in the balance. In the course, a course of action now decided, the Greek army quickly assembled in their signature phalanx formation where they held up their shields and they held their swords in the other hand and they locked arms and they jogged down from the mountains and into the plains of Marathon and headed directly into battle. On the Greek side were 11,000 men defending the European values of philosophy, democracy, liberty, the equality of civil rights. On the Asiatic side was King Darius and 40 to 60,000 soldiers fighting for Persian despotism. This Greek army with no cavalry, having plunged down from the heights on foot into the plains of Marathon, stormed right into the Persian lines hacking the first rows of surprise defenders to pieces. The immense numerical superiority of the Persian forces, however, enabled them to absorb this initial shock and regroup. And eventually, after hours of hand-to-hand -hand combat, the Persians broke through a small portion of the Greek lines and forced the Greeks to retreat back up the high ground. But there, the Greek flanks expertly and successfully surged inward reestablishing the army's famed phalanx, and the battle shifted again in favor of the Greeks. The Greeks then slowly pushed the Persians back down into the plains, and ultimately, after many back and forths, the Greek pushed the invaders into the sea. They even seized four Persian ships, burning many others at anchor. When it was all over, 6,400 Persians lay dead against only 192 Greeks. The Persians had been dealt a far-reaching and humiliating defeat. 